and blessings, family. Shalom, shalom. It's Leah, Yehuda, Israel, your little big sister. And I'm believed to be from the tribe of Judah. Or Levi, giving our praise, honor, glory, and thanks to the Most High Yah. This morning, I'm at the mountain here. I um, have prayer for the nation. On Facebook this morning, you can find me, Leah, Yehuda, Israel, or Instagram, Leah Malka. Um, just here, giving our praises. And glory to the most high eyes. I think the Bible's here. I just want to praise our creator and lift him up. It is five, five-ish this morning. I've been out here since 4 15.
God is King. Jerusalem. So once again, good morning Israel. This is Leah, uh, your little big sister. I want to say another prayer for the nation as I prayed on Facebook on my Olivia Saracho page. Um, and Leah Yehuda Israel page is shut down for 30 days. But I want to pray for the nation as I turn towards north right here. And I stretch my hands. Father Yah, the creator of the heavens, the earth, the seas, and all of them is you created and you are the possessor of Yah. I come before you as humbly as I know how this morning, Yah, say a hallelujah. Hallelujah, O great King. We thank you this morning, Yah. We honor you for another morning of prayer. We worship you. For there is none like you in the whole earth, Yah. As I turn towards Jerusalem, where King David instructed us to pray, we shall pray towards this mountain, towards this temple, towards our home. So we thank you, Yah. We honor you for this morning. Thank you, Yah, for being you all by yourself. We honor you. We thank you. We glorify you, O great King. Please forgive the whole house of Israel. Please forgive us, Yahweh, for sinning against your laws, your statutes, and your commandments, and constantly breaking them, O great King. Please be merciful to the motherless child, to the child that are without a father, uh, to the homeless of your people, the widow those who are suffering and affliction in their body, Yah. Heal them, those with pain, with aches, body aches, mentally ill, uh, those who are burdened down, those who are afflicted. Please heal your people, Yahweh. Please forgive us um, for eating swine's flesh, pork, chops, uh, crabs, all of the food you told us not to eat, Yah. Please forgive us and heal us. Give us more understanding of how to live a righteous life. Because when you come, O oh Great King, it's not going to be fun. Uh, it's coming like a whirlwind, and you're going to tear down all of this wickedness. And you're going to humble the people down, and they will know that you are Yah. And you rule in the kingdom of men. So we give praises to you, Yahweh. Please be merciful to your virgins. The virgins of Israel, the little virgins, the girls and boys. That they remain untouched and covered by your angels, Yah. Even the adults who are virgins, keep them safe as well. I pray for the elderly of your people, Yah. Please keep them safe. We know that there's a lot of wickedness going on in the captivity. Please keep your angels on charge, Yah. Please be merciful to my own children and forgive them for transgressing your laws, statutes, and commandments and being whores. Please forgive them that they may turn around and serve you, Yah. And please don't destroy my children, Yah, my daughters. And my grandchildren, O Yahuwah, please be merciful to them. And put a spirit on them to want to go back and do right. As we used to keep the Sabbath day together, Yah. Be merciful to my children, even to my parents and my siblings and my family members, O Great King. For you are worthy to be praised, O Yah. Uh, please destroy all of your enemies. Utterly cast them down, those people that are in our land. In Jerusalem, those Jewish people that don't belong there. Please cast them out into the Black Sea that they may breathe and live no more. All of them, Yah. We want to go home in our land. At least I do. I want to go home. I want to relax. I want to serve you and tear down all of those idol gods, Yah. For you are righteous, O great King, and you are holy in all your ways. And thank you for watching over a motherless child, a fa excuse me, a fatherless child, and the motherless children out in Israel. But my child who's without a father and I'm a widow, thank you for being my husband, my king, my everything. Thank you for blessing me and giving me life, health, and strength to be able to wake up every morning that you have me to wake up and put this message out to worship and to pray and to serve you. For you are righteous, O Yehovah, and you will be glorified. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the mighty Yahweh. So we're going to keep it going, family.
all honor and all praise is to the Most High Yah family as I'm going to read the scripture. Um, and we pray this morning also on my Facebook. You can look for Olivia Sorrento. As we give praises and honor and glory to the Most High Yah, I just want to read. Read some scriptures here and we're going to get ready to shut it down. But uh, we praise Yah this morning and we honor Yah. Uh, we give Him thanks. What, there is no one like you in all the heavens of the earth. And I'm going to go back into what Sister Nabaya had us read in Leviticus uh, 21. And thou will walk, and if you walk contrary with unto me, and will not hearken unto me, I will bring seven times more plagues upon you according to your sins. Oh my gosh. Who is not playing with the house of Israel, the house of David? We must return back to Yah. And that will bring seven times more plagues unto you. And that will bring even more plagues upon you according to your sins. I will also send wild beasts among you, which shall rob you of your children and destroy your cattle and make you few in number. And your highways shall be desolate. And if ye will not be reformed by me, by these things, but will walk contrary with me, then I will walk contrary with you, and I will punish you seven times for your sins. And I will bring a sword upon you that shall avenge the quarrel of my covenant. And when you are gathered together within your cities, I will send the pestilence among you, and ye shall be delivered into the hand of the enemy. That's what's going on right now. Our people are being delivered into the hand of the enemy. But you can't tell them nothing. Um, everybody want to do what they want to do in their own mind. Saying that it's right to eat shrimp and crabs and call on J-E-S-U-S. And then you go on the news crying with the most high take your loved one. Oh my baby. Oh. Well according to the scripture you're an abomination. You're living in sin and you refuse to turn back around. So there's going to be more death going out in the nation of Israel. But I'm praying that somebody wake up and return to the Creator before it's too late. Some of us are tired, um, but Yahweh is our renewed strength. But we want to go home. We want to leave the captivity. And we want to go serve our Creator in a land formed with milk and honey. We want to serve Yahweh all the days of our lives. So we give praises to the Holy One. And that would be delivered into the hand of the enemy. And that will have broken the staff of your bread. Ten women shall break, break, bake your bread in one of them. And they shall deliver you your bread again by weight. And ye shall eat and not be satisfied. And if ye will not for all hearken unto me, but walk contrary unto me, I will walk contrary unto you. And also in fear. I will chastise you seven times for your sins, and ye shall eat the flesh of your sons and the flesh of your daughters. You shall eat. So, giving our praises and honor and glory to the Most High Yah, that was Leviticus 26. Um, but I want to go into one of my favorite scriptures before I set it down, and that's Psalms uh, 125. Uh, we are to keep the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High, or you're just going to be destroyed. Uh, the Most High said that He sent His servants from the rising of the sun to the going down. We're out here uh, praying and giving honor and respect to the Most High God. Uh, Psalms 125. And we're getting ready for the Sabbath day, family. So y'all get ready for the Sabbath and... Get your houses together and stay in your dwelling place. The Sabbath is coming. Psalms 125, as it reads. They that trust in Yahuwah shall be like as Mount Zion, which cannot be removed, but abides forever. As the mountains are round about Jerusalem, so Yahuwah is round about his people from henceforth and forever. For the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the rod of the righteous, Lest the right, righteous put forth his hands into iniquity. All do good, O Yahuwah, unto those that be good, and to them that are upright in their hearts. As for such as turn aside unto their wicked ways, Yahuwah shall lead them forth with the workers of iniquity. But peace shall be upon Yisrael. Now let's go into Psalms uh, 122, family. And it is Friday. 
day today, the, uh, we're getting ready to go into the Sabbath day tomorrow, where we will be in our dwelling places and we will rest in the Most High Yah. I will not be coming out to do a video. I stay in my dwelling place until the sun goes down. Psalms 122. I was glad when they said unto me, Let us go into the house of Yahuwah. Our feet shall stand within your gates. O Jerusalem, Jerusalem is built as a city that is compact together. Whether the tribes go up and the tribes of Yah to the testimony of Yisrael, to give thanks unto the name of Yahuwah. For there are set thrones of judgment, the thrones of the house of Dawi. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper that love you. Peace be within the walls and prosperity within your palaces. For my brethren and company's sake, I will now say peace be within you. Because of the house of Yahuwah Elohim, I will seek your good. So all praises, all honor, and all glory are to the Most High. Y'all, let's take one more scripture before we set it down. Psalms 132. Yahuwah remember David and his all his afflictions. How he swore unto Yahuwah and vowed unto the mighty Elohim of Yaakov. Surely I will not come into this tabernacle of my house, nor go up into my bed. I will not get sleep to my eyes or slumber to my eyelids until I find out a place for Yahuwah, a habitation for the mighty Elohim of Yaakov. Lo, we heard of it at Ephraim. We found it in the fields of the wood. We will go into the tabernacles. We will worship at his footstool. Arise, O Yahweh, you and the ark of your strength. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness, and let your sahoid shout for joy. For your servant David's sake, turn not away the face of your anointed. That was Psalms 132 I just read. So I'm giving all praise and honor and glory to the Most High. Yeah, I get ready to shut it down. We're gonna beat this drum a little bit there. don't need to run the streets and do anything um, not even sit in the congregation go home get your food prepared and get in your bed and play your music rest meditate um, and think about the most high yeah um, when I was in the congregation it was total wickedness uh, people were talking about me and typing and texting but um, I don't care I went in there to be slaughtered and the judgment is from them on the most high yeah so we give our praises to y'all you got to keep moving on this journey um, it will get hard, but you can get renewed strength of the Most High Yah. Don't worry about what people say. They will do evil against you. They will 
kill your chickens. Um, they will take you home and, and not even appreciate the things that you do for them. Um, they will be very evil. They will lie on you. Um, say all manner of wickedness against you. Even call you a crackhead in the congregation. I've been through so much, but still I stand on the Creator. Um, if you can bless the journey, I'll put a cash app down here. Um, I'm a widow, almost 12 months coming soon. And my daughter is a, has a father, not have a father. And she's very intelligent and she knows the truth and she loves Yah. So if you could bless us with anything that we'd appreciate it on the journey, that would help us. Um, and the Most High will bless you. So we give our praises and we give our honor to the Holy One of Israel. Peace and blessings, family. That is the Reed Sea right there. Where our fathers and mothers cross and Jerusalem is down that way. So all praises, honor, and glory are to the Most High Yah. Shalom, shalom.